What's up, guys? It's your girl, Zeta Lisa. Welcome to Mama's Cocktail Hour. Come on in. So today we jumping right into this topic. Um, we need to be discussing Diddy. Diddy has a lot of things going on, but today primarily we're going to be focusing on Revolt and what's going on with him and Revolt. So it looks like Diddy put out a statement today stating that he is no longer with Revolt. So... Everybody on these internet streets understands that Diddy was not the person who stepped down by himself. Come on, guys. Let's be real. He's not the person that stepped down by himself. He stepped down because he had no choice but to step down because they pushed him to that point. So let's jump into, before we jump into that, let's go, let's bring it all the way back. And let's talk about how Revolt even started. So today, I, as I was doing my research on black media, because I think black media is so dope, it's so influential, and it's so very essential, right? Because we need to hear our voice in media. That's the reason why I love doing what I do, because we need to hear our own people's perspective on issues. We need to have voices in the media. So that's why black entertainment is so, so important and crucial. So shout out to my girl, Maxine Walters. She is the most senior of 13 black women in Congress. And she basically set the whole tone for us having more representation in black media. So she made mention of it. Comcast got the, they got the memo and that's how Revolt started. So Revolt started with Diddy as the founder and Andy Shuon, and I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing his name correctly, but Andy Shuon as the co-founder. What I thought was interesting though is that when you do Google Revolt and Revolt comes up, Diddy is mentioned as the founder. There is no co-founder there. Diddy, that's it. One line, him, that's it. So you would think he started this whole thing by himself, in which is not, cor is not correct because he started it with Andy Shuan. And it looks like he owns only 50% stake in the company. A lot of Diddy's businesses are starting to fall apart because of this Cassie lawsuit. People do not want their businesses or their brands to be affiliated with things such as R words and S A words. Like people do not want to be affiliated with that. So if you're a business, and sometimes we gotta we gotta think about this strategically, right? We can't always believe everything we hear. And I say that sitting here giving you information, but you cannot believe everything you hear. Sometimes you have to use logic, right? And you have to think about where these businesses stand. He's going to put out whatever statement he wants to put out to make himself look a certain way. But in any type of a business, when you become a liability, you are a liability. And right now, Diddy is a liability for any one of his businesses. So people are cutting and severing their ties with him as quickly and efficiently as possible. And Diddy, who is a 900 millionaire, almost a billionaire, is trying to pick up the pieces. So strategically, it would look better for you to say something as I'm stepping down because I don't want whatever was going on with me to affect revolt. Although that would be the grown up thing to do, but I'm pretty sure that's not how that happened. I'm pretty sure it happened like, Hey, you're bad for business. So we need to cut ties. And it's either you cut ties or I don't know. You're going to get fired. I mean, it's his company. I don't think he's getting fired, but, you know, I'm sure there would have been some type of laws getting in there. They're getting lawyers, lawsuits, and trying to divvy this up. But, you know, he went gracefully. He said that he's temporarily stepping down. So let's jump into the actual 
um, statement. Hip hop legend and music mogul Sean Diddy Combs announced he has temporarily stepped down from his position as the CEO of Revolt um, amid the sexual allegations against him. Sean Combs has stepped down as his position from his position as chairman of Revolt. While pr- Mr. Combs has previously had no operational or day-to-day in the business, this decision helps us to ensure that Revolt may remain steadily fast, steadfastly <laughs> focused on our mission to create meaningful content for the culture and amplify the voices of all black people throughout this country and the African diaspora. It says, our focus has always been one that reflects our commitment to the collective journey of revolt, one that is not driven by any individual, but by the shared efforts and values of the entire team on behalf of advancing, elevating, and championing our culture. And that continues. Revolt co-founder Combs and Andy Shuan in 2013 It's a multimedia venture that focuses on black storytelling within the urban and hip hop communities. So this, I, I really do not think that people understand like the impact that this has. I think people are like, okay, yeah, it's just, it's a natural progression. Like, you know, things are going to start falling apart. Like this lawsuit has really, like claps to Cassie because you know a lot of people were ah it's not a criminal complaint ah um you know I wish she would have waited long someone said I wish she would have waited longer like made him I guess you know wait a little longer and I don't think like in that comment nobody realizes like maybe she didn't want to wait any longer maybe she didn't want to have to still go through this What nobody understands either is that this was something that was happening in the media, allegedly, right, for over a year, I'm sure. This is why, you know, he changed his whole perspective to love. This is why he was on a love campaign. That's why we have the love album. It's him understanding, like, something is coming, and I need to clean up my image. It was strategic, It was something that most likely him and his publicist sat down for some damn tea and coffee in his mansion and discussed, right? We need to get ahead of this. How do we get ahead of this? Well, we need to start cleaning up your image. You need to look more, you know, come on now. It's business. We have to think logically, right? When it comes to your brand, you want to look a certain way. You want to sound a certain way. I know for me, there's things that I, I have to get in line because I represent my brand, right? Well, Diddy represents revolt. So if he's agreeing, and that's how people are going to take it. Although he did put out his statement that just because he paid that money, that doesn't necessarily mean that those things are true. People are not going to look at it that way. I know that's not the way that I'm looking at it. Because if you're somebody who's a billionaire and has all this money, why not fight for your name? Because your name is everything. Once you don't have your name anymore and your name is tarnished, you're nothing. Look at R. Kelly. R. Kelly is a prime example of his name being tarnished forever. It's like people don't even want to play R. Kelly songs. When was the last time you heard R. Kelly on the radio? Never again. So your name is everything. So I think a lot of people think that if you're a billionaire and these allegations were not true, why would you be paying? Right. And so that's where the questions start to come. That's where the the whispers start. That's where everything starts to come out. People start to talk because now one person was successful. Now, you know, it just opens the door for more women to say, hey, maybe, you know, I went through something like this with him. Maybe I'll be successful, too. So it opens the floodgates. I think the concept of revolt is so dope and. I, I actually went on to Revolt's website today for the first time. And I was just looking at some of the shows that are on there. And there are some, like, amazing shows on Revolt. 
Um, they have some amazing podcasts on here. Should we send help to Carisha or do we feel like Carisha is down with it? For me, my opinion on Carisha is Carisha is down with this. She's doing something freaky with Diddy with no problems. As long as that check is clearing, as long as that 500K is hitting up in the bank account, Carisha is good. It's really just crazy to see that, you know, he was able to build something like this and to throw this all away. I don't know. It's just, it's crazy. And I don't, I don't think people do not understand. So he lost De Leon. It's a wrap for that. So they parted ways with Diddy last week. He also lost Macy's. They parted ways with him quick. They were like, hey, Sean John, we were phasing it out anyways. Yeah, how convenient. You phasing it out right the week after Cassie puts in her lawsuit? That's, yeah. I Even though, like, who wears Sean John? Like, I haven't seen somebody rock a Sean, Sean John shirt in, like, years. It's been forever. Um, So, okay, that was, we already know that was, but now he loses revolt. And I actually, the newest news in is that he was, um, I believe he also was the co-founder of a charter school in Harlem. And they have since parted ways with Diddy as well. I feel like people get focused on the wrong thing. Everybody's like, yo, what is Carisha saying? Carisha ain't going to say nothing. Carisha don't want that money train to stop. And if it does, then she may be on to the next. But what I do think is interesting is Carisha got a big sale on her um, on her website for a lot of her items. You know, she sells miscellaneous items on her website, um, pajamas, you know, s- such things. But she got a 60 p- <laughs> she got a 60 percent sale on that. And I'm pretty sure Diddy had his hand up in that um, website. Who knows? Diddy must be like, yo, liquidate that. Get that whole Carisha everything. Carisha, please give me everything. I need everything right now. Um, but now it's it's really looking it's really looking bad for Diddy. A lot of businesses are starting to part ways with him. They want nothing to do with any allegations of R, any allegations of traffic, any of those things. People do not want no parts of it. So you guys let me know in the comments what you guys think. Let me know if you think that, um, you know, he's coming back because that's what he said. It's a temporary. It's a temporary. I'm only leaving temporary. No, there ain't no temporary, dude. It's a wrap. They told you either you leave on your own terms or we're going to make you leave and it's not going to look pretty. So he took his L gracefully and wrote his statement that he would be stepping down as CEO temporarily. But you guys let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you think, you know, he's coming back. Let me know what you think about everything. Do you yourself feel like it's a wrap for Diddy? If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification button so you can be alerted when there's a new video. And if you waited this long, please hit the like button. I appreciate you guys, and I'll talk to you soon.